And as for you, I don't know you, but I'm sure you're a jerk. Whoop. Hey guys, what's happening? I was just at my local Target, and they had some new stuff. There was a reset over the weekend, you know what I mean? And they had the little Simpson set from Jax. I got the small scale stuff. I, that's, that's, I think that's all I need from these. They've got that 5-inch like they do with the Sonic and the Mario, and those look cool, but it's going to be, you know, it's their own interesting, minimal articulation. So far, they're doing variants of characters and stuff. It looks great. I grew up a Simpsons fan. Uh, but anyway, 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 they have that stuff there at, at, at my local, my closest Target. There are several. I live in Portland. They took some away last year. How dare you? Anyway, they had they had tags for stuff, Power Man, Iron Fist, those things were not there. They had a Superior Spider-Man and a Wolverine, though, and, and, and tags. I got the Wolverine the other day, so check out that review right here on this channel. Anyway, so I walked away with the Spider-Man. He's got some scuffing on the package. I figured it was a good excuse to open the thing, right? That'll be fun. But I want to show off this Simpsons stuff today because this seems super cool, super simple. I'm super excited. There's just so much going on. It was my birthday over the weekend, so I flew to Vegas. Uh... A couple of Walmarts there, or I mean, uh, Target's there. The one on the Strip, they don't have toys, right? But there's one on Flamingo, and no kidding, I go there on the 21st, on my birthday, because that's that's when the Miss Marvel, the Captain Marvel, the Warbird, becomes unregistered, locked, or whatever. Street date, yeah, there, there, there's, there's a lady there. She's doing some stalking, otherwise the shelves are pretty barren. I chat her up a little bit, you know. You know where this is going. I want to see if they got some in the back. Are you finally able to sell the thing after all this fiasco of people finding them and being told no, you know. Further, though, let me, let me, full disclosure here. My boy Praeternia on, on Insta there. Join up, uh, sign up, sign up for his, his notifications, his messages. He'll send you like links for when a lot of cool stuff goes live on different sites and so on. Sometime just after midnight, because I was out partying in Vegas, I look at my phone at like two or something and it shows, it, it, it shows in stock, Captain Marvel, Warbird. And so I score me one of those and sometime between then and the morning, it's all gone. Anyway, I'm talking to this lady and I'm trying to get up to the point to ask her about the specific product. You know, and she's she's not having any of it. She doesn't even look up. She's super condescending. How could I know anything about her job? You know, I stopped short of telling her, man, I got some cred. I'm part of a ring of like thousands of like-minded freaks. That was probably going to send her over the edge, saying some stuff like that to her. Also, you know, I stopped short of telling her, I think you're being naive, and they probably sold all those warbirds out from under you. She was insisting they would be in the back and that they would be out, oh, maybe Tuesday. That would be the 23rd. That's today. I hate to date these videos in case it takes me a freaking week to get to the get through the edit. I'm trying to keep them simpler, man. Who wants all this over-processed crap? I'm just, it's me translating myself to the camera. That's, that's what I struggle with. Sometimes you just stare blankly at it, and I gotta edit that out, because who wants that? Anyway, you know, Vegas. Uh, it's not for my birthday. It's not necessarily about toys, but there's the target. I had to check it, and it was the 21st. So I do have I do have one on the way. It says tomorrow I will get my Warbird, but I, I wouldn't really count on seeing those in the store. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I never did see that Black Widow. Glad I pre-ordered the one. Anyway, there was a cut there because I blanked for a second. I want to show off the frickin' Simpsons toys. Look at this package of the family. I'm going to fall off my stool. You get tiny little dogs and cats, too. And I didn't, I don't need too much from this line, but of course you do. The living room setup, that would be dope. They had two of those. My local Target, they had just the one of these. Handful of uh, single releases, and they had one stupid, sexy Flanders. So I walked away with that too. Also before that, I went to another Target, the, the, the next furthest one, and they, the shelves there were empty. I didn't notice any, any new tags for the stuff, so it's possible it just hasn't been reset yet, but it's also possible and more likely that it was there and gone. Who am I saying this stuff for? I would like the employees to understand that that's how it works. What, you know, how come you just don't have enough of this stuff for the people that want it? How come you let these sweatpants wearing dudes come in and scoop them all into their cart first thing when they open? People have told me that's the reality. Anyway, there's not going to be a lot to these, but I wanted to go over them real quick, and I think there's enough for them to be a good time. Over here in the sexy space, here is a closer look at that packaging. I think this setup here is pretty clean. They're single figures. I, I like the blister on the Sonic and Mario singles better. Anyway, you get some artwork, some artwork, some explanation, a title here, a uh, logo for the company. Little Lisa and Marge and little Margaret and Homer and Bart and you get even get little Snowball. I couldn't tell you what version as well as Santo Cell Helper. Right here on the box, a little bit of a window letting the light in. It says Simpsons over a couch. That's a fun logo. That's a fun logo. Some more artwork on the side here. More artwork on this side, including the whole family. All of this, I don't know why you'd want to read any of it, but there's a barcode. 
Checking out the back here. They show them all off a little bit better. Oh, Snowball 2. That was going to be my guess. Yeah. Good. Looking good. Looking good. Let's just cut right into these right here. Yeah. Yeah. Get that knife in there. Originally appearing, yeah, as a little short on the Tracy Ullman show, my dad would often tell me when I was a wee lad. These are The Simpsons, created by Matt Grenning, Gron Groning, Grenning, Grip, uh, who is actually a Portland native, just like myself. How fun. A bunch of the characters and things are named for stuff around, around Portland. There is a Springfield, Oregon. He's just basing it on a general middle America. And so either you don't really get to claim that. But if anyone did, sure, it's me here. Springfield, Oregon, where I built uh, Shepherd Motors like a year ago. That's fun, right? Pop these guys out of their plastic. I think there's a little more weird stuff holding some of them in. <laughs> it's their starfish heads. Big Daddy. Oh, I like the feel of them already. Tiny little dogs and cats. I don't think they're going to give the Hasbro classified pet animals a run for their money, but dang. Tiny stuff is cool. Oh, I don't want to hurt precious little kitty. Ah, starfish first. Come on. Toss that aside. And here's the whole family freed from their packaging. Mmm, plastic. We are generally at a point in the toy game where, where, where figures can look just like what they're representing. You know, so don't, don't take any guff from these companies that can't get it there. Uh, aesthetically, sure, they're nice. These are cheap, small scale. There's weird stuff happening. Just little QC things. Also, they've stamped stuff onto his back and printed something on his bum. Uh, miss with the paint there. But I think, I mean, these are, this is Homer Simpson. Homer J. Looking good. The classic, you know, the white shirt, the blue jeans. Who knows these little who the hooves he's got. They've got hooves. Lisa, she's just, she's itching to get at it, you know. We'll just spotlight a little bit of that iconic stuff. She's wearing a little string of pearls like her mother. A uh, little, yeah, I don't like the way that they've put that in there. From a distance, you really don't notice, and it is on the back, but come on. Come on, can you just put that on the packaging and call it a day? Engrave it on the feet. So what if we need like a microscope to see it? That would be fun, right? If you can put my name on a grain of rice, you can you can put a date on the bottom of the foot. Marge here with this sick beehive. And it's just it's a lot of sculpted plastic, right? But this little paint little paint details like say her necklace. I would think her her shoes would be painted over a yellow plastic. Looks like they're stuck in here. This is just green. That's, I mean, that's a good way to go. That's a good way to go. I don't think these need excessive paint detailing. If a guy were to, it would sort of, you could mat them and tone it down a little bit. So Maggie, those hands do move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking really good. The paint is, is pretty clean, you know. Like I said, there's not a ton of it, but the eyes look good, centered. These are a very simplistic design in general. So I think, uh, you know. Be almost inexcusable if they weren't nailing it. The larger scale, they've got better articulation, but then they've got all these really funny looking cuts, and I, I don't know if I need all that. We'll see. They'll 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 probably hit us with some characters I won't want to miss out on. But just to have a basic little Simpson setup so far, I mean these look really good. Look at that little snowball. Collar. <laughs> Puppy. Yeah, and he looks appropriately insane, too. Somehow they've captured that. I love that. Proportionally, sure, it seems fine. Nice, firm, little, you know? Articulation, they're all they're all fairly basic in that you can kind of see the little swivel. They've all they've all got this head swivel. And then we've got these sort of bipedal. Whoop, 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 whoop. They're not going to splay out to the side, but real dogs can't do that either. So that's fine. That's fun. Little snowballs. Same same deal. These, these limbs all move independently. Pretty freaking cool. Um, how about the tail? The tail does is a separate piece. Is it supposed to move? I, it's difficult to tell. It's so small. I'm afraid if I twist too hard, it will just shear it off. I The way it's plugged in, it probably twists, but and I don't know. You know, the head does, and that's just fine. Yeah, jumping back on Lisa again, fine. You're going to see sort of the same thing on all of these, it seems like. The head is going to twist all the way around. The arms will move, they'll rotate. But there's also a little hinge, so the arms will come out to the side, too. That's pretty freaking cool. 
Look at that, it goes way up. Okay, this is gonna be the tiny ones where it's difficult for it to not focus on my hands. So that's funny. These will, of course, rotate. The legs here, it looks like there's a little crossbar, so they're a single. Can they move independently? Eee, it's it's iffy. I don't think they're meant to move independently. The way that's set up, though, I kind of I I don't mind that if it's not standing. You just need to adjust the lean. It makes that easier to do. How's that going to be on the on the others? Same thing. Her legs are stuck in here, but they're not going to rotate or anything. The arms, you're you're going to see the same deal. Head, and yeah, look at that. That's just going to fold, not quite down to a ninety there, but stands up pretty well. And again, if it wasn't, if she wasn't standing, you know, you can just adjust that lean. I think that's, I think that's a really good compromise for having something, you know, they could have just been completely static and I, I would have been a lot less thrilled. The little bit of, it's perfectly serviceable. Of course his arms can't go down to the side. He is 239 and feeling fine. <laughs> Here's the boy. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with the arms and, and the legs. The way they built that, I mean, it seems kind of awkward, but it's actually, it's it's really neat in the context of the simplicity and you, you're just wanting it to kind of stand. You just adjust that. Maybe you'll have to get some arms in on it too. But, well, yeah, he, he, he stands all right. That's an articulation segment, folks. Get back in there, Mom. Mm -hmm. Accessories, nothing to speak of. They want you to buy these sort of little Dio sets, all of the Sonic and Mario stuff they've been doing. But wait! Hi diddly ho, neighborinos! I had to get stupid Flanders sitting there. They had just one of him. I didn't see any other unique characters, but eh, let's slice into that without slicing into myself. Oh, hey, how about we show off the packaging too? Big old shot of his tiny little face. Uh, standard on the front. I, I just think this little box is it's cool, but it's a bit much for what's in there. And look at that. We get a Chief Wiggum. Okay, and they will have accessories, the single releases. I didn't stare real hard at the ones they had. They had a bunch of Homer and Bart. Maybe those two and then they're wave one. I don't know. You would think it's all of these, but I'm just late. I'm just, I was just late to the party. How, how dare I, you know, go to the store right after they reset. <laughs> what I found, that's about as much as you could hope for. I had, they had one of these sets and a, and a few singles. And the one Ned Flanders, and he comes out on his little pink unit. Get in here. Slice this. Uh, I need a left-handed exacto knife, right? Uh, get out of there. Get out of there. Be careful taking them out. These hold them really firm. Depending on the figure, I'd be a little worried it could hoid him. Mm. Get that out of here. Bring him in. Check the height. They are uh, similar. I think that's. I think that's pretty correct. He's got that really unassuming body until he takes the sweater off, and you know he's just jacked. Little pink collar there. The glasses, I think those are just gonna be stuck in place. The eyes are really nicely placed, man, for how simple they are and how simple the paint is. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. It's even little peg holes on his pointy little feet. And you're gonna see the same thing on the arms, I'm assuming. We're, we're all learning together here, folks. <laughs> and yeah, he can, he can stoop over this far. And he's pretty, he's pretty easy to stand. These are, these are pretty legit for what they are. I think you see them on the shelf and you can sort of get the whole picture, you know what I mean? But uh, they, they really are fun in hand. I, I, and, I, and I like tiny stuff, that's, that's fun, right? Otherwise, there's not really a lot else to go over here. I'm gonna bring in my trusty ruler and we can see some heights here, but these are, this is the 2.5 inch, what they're doing. So does that mean people like Homer and Ned are gonna be around that? They're, they're, they're about three, yeah. It's a perspective thing, it's weird. Put this here and put this here. And he comes in at just under three inches. So, you know, it's gonna it's gonna vary. The wee child is eh, not quite an inch and a half. You can see from the video, but I think they are scaling the nail. Nailing the scale. Did I not go over that with her? Yes, the arms do come down. He's got this little slug bottom here, and there's even a little hole there. I'm not sure if those are going to be like pegs on the thing. Those are so tiny. They would break. Maybe it's just so it didn't explode. Anyway, guys, I am stoked on these. And I am stoked on any and all of you that have been watching my content. I know it's been sporadic, but I do mean to be better. And I'm feeling better all the time. 
Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada. Who has to say all that stuff, man? You will if you like it, right? Am I saying it to people in case they forget? I just, I never feel good about that. I try to make the best content I can and let that speak for itself, but still leave a like anyway, right? Karma. Thanks, friends. I'll see you again. <laughs> Calm down, diddly, 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 diddly. They did their best, shoddily, italy, italy, diddly. Gotta be nice, hostility, diddly, diddly, diddly. Ah, oh, hell, diddly, ding, dong, crap. Can't you morons do anything right?